Hi everyone, I would like to play a few notes with his Baroque flute and then we will discuss philosophy. I don't hear the same sounds you hear. I hear the sound that goes from through my ears and also through my bones and my fingers and my entire body. When I play the flute, I am projecting myself, blowing the ear through the flute projecting it out. So it's basically my own ear that I blow out, but I'm using this instrument that it will project the sound that this instrument made to, to, to project. So if I will play the trumpet, I will blow the same ear, but it will project a different sound. In both cases, I, as a player, will hear something completely different than what you hear. So when I take this flute and I play it for my own enjoyment, I can sense the sounds the way I like it. And then if I don't like the sounds that I make, then I will not play it. But when I play for somebody else and this other person listens to it and says, wow, I love these sounds, something different happens. All of a sudden, my own projection changes. So when I play this tune right now for you, well, it's very, very complicated because I don't see you and I'm sitting in front of a camera. So I have to imagine that you're there. Then I have to imagine that I'm playing in front of thousands of people and I'm projecting it out. And then when you listen to it, obviously it goes through these digital things and it comes out also different. It doesn't sound like in real life, but you hear what I'm projecting, but through all these instruments. Everybody knows that when you record yourself, you cannot really hear what you hear when you speak because it, it comes from different directions and then your sounds changes when it goes through the filters of the recording. So as a performer, part of it, I need to seal my intentions or close my desires or what I'm used to here and pay attention to what you want to hear. And that it is a complicated thing. Because I am practicing to play, to, to speak out, but I cannot hear what you hear. So I'm dependent on you when I'm playing. I'm dependent on the listener. And that is a very unique symbiosis. For example, like if I'm playing for myself now and I make mistakes, I don't care. And I, I do that all the time. And we all do as, a, as a performers. We all play and... And when we practice, and, then, and and also we all love some sounds. Like when I play this sound, I really love this sound. I can play very, very soft and quiet, and I can listen to it, and I can meditate with it, and I can enjoy it very much. But if I'm going to sit in the kitchen near my, my wife and my children, and I will do that for, you know, for a few longer seconds and up to a minute it will turn to be irritating because i i perceive it in the way that i perceive it so as a performer what makes me qualified is that i know the balance between the sounds that i project and what people supposedly hearing 
and learning by playing long enough what the people hear. And that is a, is, is a very extreme uh, philosophic phenomena uh, because I, I will never be able to play what I want to play. So how could that be that I'm, I'm going to be the musician I'm supposed to be? Because if all the time what I care is what you hear, uh, as my father uh, always used to say that when you're making a painting, when you draw a painting, you should make it as pleasant, uh, the painting should be as pleasant as possible for people to view, to watch. So if I will paint a slaughtered cow with with glittering blood everywhere, and it will be a, the most beautiful thing in terms of, I mean, it will be more, most sorry, more, most precise, uh, accurate painting, it's still, it won't be pleasant for people to hang in their, in their um, a, a living room. So the, 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 the balance between what I am capable of doing and what I want to do and what you are supposed to hear or want to hear, it's a very fine line. And I think, and this is what I'm, I'm raising as a question, and maybe we'll debate on that further on. I think that the more I am aware of what I do to others when I play, the better musician I am. So if I'm, if I'm aware that some sounds I do, people are project, uh, people are, are, are enjoying from that and they're reacting to it emotionally in a certain way and I'm learning, I'm, I'm watching and I'm saying, oh, that's, that's, that is good. It's not necessarily what I want to be. If I'm going to play a very soft, sad melody, So it calls people to have um, uh, longing or even tears. Uh, I don't know if that's what I want to do, but I'm aware of that. Maybe I'm not in that particular mood, but this is what I want to do. I want to project that, even though that's to me, not necessarily will do that. So it's a very, very interesting thing as a performer. So it will go to basically any other direction. If I am a painter, if I am a, I'm a baker and I'm making cakes and I don't really like the taste, but I am aware of the fact that people like it, then I'm making it. So, so it's a hard thing. It's a very hard thing. It's, it's, I would say that the more you're able to crush your own egoistic, um, desires in order to make a platform for other people to enjoy the better performer you are but then you're further away from being the musician that you wish to be and it basically I, I think I assume that it, it appears to every good musician and every good performer at some point that he needs to balance between his own wild desires as a performer than what people perceive that. And that is a beautiful thing to learn how to balance because you learn more and more how to control your own egoistic things in one hand and in the other hand you learn how powerful your own ego is. So this is a subject that maybe we'll need to further develop. But this is a subject that I'm thinking at the moment and uh, I wanted to share with you. So may God bless you all. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, share, like it, and it will help me if you comment and, uh, and write. You can write uh, below or even contact me through my website. Bye-bye for now.